So this is a child with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and this sign that is being elicited is called cover sign. He is unable to stand from a sitting position and this is due to proximal weakness. So this proximal weakness is of lower limb muscles as well as upper limb muscles. It is a genetic illness with a trait of X-linked recessive. So it is commonly seen in boys and it is rarely seen in girls. The clinical features of this illness is these children are characteristically normal till the age of two to three years and then they have difficulty in standing from a, sit from a sitting position and this gover sign may be present as early as three years of age or it can be present till the age of five years so gover sign positive means there is proximal muscle weakness distal muscles of the body are characteristically normal at initial stages like holding a cup writing with a pen and closing the button of the shirt these functions remain intact during first few years of this illness and later on all the muscles can be involved if we talk about deep tendon reflexes in these children so deep tendon reflexes are initially diminished and later on they are absent this Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetically programmed muscle degeneration so there is no pain in this condition on later stages after a few years the child will be unable to walk and he may be wheelchair bound and later on he may be bedridden due to weakness of respiratory muscles there can be respiratory involvement in later stages like muscles of respiration can be involved swallowing difficulty and muscle of deglutition they are involved they can be aspiration pneumonias similarly Duchenne muscular dystrophy can also affect the muscles of heart so it can also lead to cardiomyopathy so a major cause of morbidity and mortality in these children is congestive cardiac failure or heart arrhythmias scoliosis and lordosis can also be seen in this illness they can be chest deformity as well in Duchenne muscular dystrophy Planters are characteristically downgoing as this is not an upper motor neuron lesion. It is purely a muscle degeneration. How to diagnose whenever you receive such a child in your outdoor who is having battling gait and proximal weakness and pseudo hypertrophy? There is hypertrophy of the calf, which is pseudo hypertrophy because it is only fatty infiltration, it is not the muscle. First of all, you will go for CPK levels which will be in thousands so these level are normally less than 160 if those levels are coming above 15,000 maybe 20 30 or 35,000 CPK levels are there so it is characteristic for Duchenne muscular dystrophy or other dystrophies can also have high muscle enzyme secondly you will go for ECG chest x-ray and echocardiogram to look for evidence of cardiomyopathy Confirmation of Duchenne muscular dystrophy is on PCR for dystrophy gene mutation that will confirm the diagnosis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Regarding treatment, there is no curative treatment available for, for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It has a downhill course. The patient may become bedridden, unable to walk and he may die of repeated pneumonias, aspirations, respiratory failure, congestive cardiac failure, arrhythmias.